Oh damn, I didn't expect that. Oh. Oh. I started this plane months ago. I had the idea of a ceiling model style plane that would fly around the room. I had the feeling I was going to run into some problems, but it turned out every step was a challenge. My initial thought was powering it with double A's. So I started soldering the electronics together. Every connection was first coated in flux and solder. The tip on my iron holds a lot of heat so I can get away with 250 degrees and then shut it off. That's what she said! <laughs> I initially used the kit propeller. The outer radius of the propeller is somewhere around one inch in blade length. This is what the new assembly looks like after all the pieces have been installed. That is the battery, wires, motor on and off switch. Uh, first I'm going to try and power the plane with 4.7 volts of lithium ion. Yeah, unfortunately not enough power. Next is a standard 9 volt. Again, there's not enough thrust to move the plane in a circular pattern that I'm looking for. The plane is too heavy. I need to find out what the motor is capable of. I know that 163 is too much. And that all the primary pieces weigh 70 grams in total. So we need to start again with a new foundation. So this is pretty much a propeller on a stick. And the motor is more than powerful enough, uh, but also it weighs very little. It also has no sense of direction without wings or tail. This is a kind of crude proof of concept, but it works nonetheless. And a uh, lighter version of what we started with, so the wings are angled upwards for stability and the tail and elevator added in case some sort of compensation was needed. So it's pretty cool once it's flying. Uh, slightly dangerous. But thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate it. If you have an opinion about what I've done, I would like to hear about it. And have a good one.